Interpreting simulation results. 60. Place your cursor on R29 and click on the browse results icon of it risks ribbon. Cell R32 calculates the total sum of the target budget for the four-year period, at 5,500 units. The total mean sales expected will be 5,034 units, with a minimum amount of 2,947, and a maximum amount of 7,685. The 90% confidence interval, established from its P5 level to its P95 level establishes that there is a 90% probability that sales results will be between 3,983 and 6,186. 61. Move your right hand delimiter to match 5,500 or write it on top of the vertical line. On the right section of the probabilistic bar you will read 23.6%. This is the probability that total sales will be larger than the target level of 5,500. This is the same number shown on cell R36 and calculated with the risk target D function. 62. Click on the tornado chart icon on the lower part of the graph ribbon. You will see that at risk displays five different types of tornadoes. 63. Select tornado, change in output mean. This tornado chart states that two products, number one and three are the ones that add the most variability to total sales. For example, when evaluated on its lower 10% of the simulated data for product one, total sales would have an average of 4,366 units. If the upper 10% of simulated data for product one were to be considered, then total sales would account to 5,887. This is the largest range among the five different products. These bars on the tornado chart were summarized when we applied the risk make input function to the cells on R24 colon R28. Otherwise, the chart would have generated individual bars on the tornado for each variable component of each one of the products, the starting quarter, the duration of the first growth stage, the initial units, and the two growth rates. This information has all been synthesized into a single bar. Another way of showing the relative importance of each one of the products is by changing the tornado. 64. Change the tornado on the respective icon to tornado, contribution to variance. 75% of the total contribution to variance of total sales can be attributed to the top two products, 1 and 3. 65. With your cursor placed on the bar for product 1, drag it out to create a scatter plot. 5000 data points are shown on this graph, it is easy to see the relationship between product 1 sales and total sales, exhibiting a rank correlation coefficient of 0.64. 66. Going back to the previous tornado, for comparison purposes, drag the product 2 bar out as well, building the following scatter plot. This scatter plot shows an indeterminate cloud of 5000 data points. It is difficult to see a dependency of total sales with respect to product 2's sales. As a matter of fact, its rank correlation coefficient is only 0.26.